Get rid of stretch marks. When stretch marks show up, it's best to treat them as early as possible. Research has focused on the early stages of stretch marks, when they are still red or purple, and most readily respond to treatment, Bowman explains. Once stretch marks pass the initial stage, when they are red or purple, to the later stages, when they become white or silver, often with deep indentations, they are much more challenging to treat. It is crucial to moisturize, Bowman says. Skin becomes more pliant, more plasticized, and better able to stretch when it's well hydrated. She recommends moisturizing three or four times a day with products that contain cocoa butter or shea butter as prime ingredient. Massage the moisturizer deep into breasts, belly, hips and buttocks. Many products claim to repair stretch marks, but only a few work, she says. Here's a rundown of the products available for stretch marks removal and what they can and cannot do. Wheat germ oil. There is not much scientific data on whether home remedies for stretch marks such as wheat germ oil can help. One recent study did find it helped improve stretch marks in their early phase. Glycolic acid. Glycolic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid. It most likely works on stretch marks by boosting collagen production, Bowman says. Glycolic acid can also be administered in higher doses by a dermatologist. Treatment typically costs around $100 and requires three or four office visits before results will appear. Vitamin C. Certain formulations of vitamin C may also increase collagen production and help early stage stretch marks, Foman says. For maximum effect, combined with glycolic acid, vitamin C supplements may also be effective. She suggests 500 mg three times a day. Peptide-containing products. Peptide-containing products are widely marketed as repair creams and are a waste of time and money, Foman says. Despite commercial claims, there is no convincing data that these work. Retinoids. Retinoids have been shown to be fairly effective in increasing collagen and elastic production during the early stages, but you should avoid them if you are pregnant or nursing. Retinol, tretinoin, and the prescription medications differ in Renova Retin-A and Tesorac are examples of retinoids. Glycolic acid plus retinoids. Using these together may provide better results, but again, retinoids aren't used when you're pregnant or nursing.